All right, welcome to the show, everybody. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. We will be talking to the cast of Annie, which is coming up, a production not to be missed. Also, we'll be talking to some very talented Islanders as the JFK Senior Class of 2015 will be holding a 5K event coming up. So please stay tuned for that. But we lead off the show with the man of the hour, or half hour, as it were. <laughs> half hour. Seeing as how we're starting at 6.30, Chuck Rios with AFCO. So, Chuck, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us back. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, you and I used to work together way back when at ITE. Way ITME back when, that's right. In the tech sector, and now, right. you know, you're, of course, the president of the local chapter of FCO and everything. So that's what's correct. the TechNet conference coming up this year? What's the theme? The theme of this year's TechNet is the new front lines, the strategic rebalancing in the Pacific. And uh, that, that's a mouthful, but it uh, really speaks about what's going on in our region. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the hope is to bring uh, those kinds of uh, players uh, be it the Navy, the Air Force, the military, and the general, as well as the local uh, business owners. Mm. And last year, I remember the conference focused specifically on like a lot of the aspects of communications right. pertinent to the military, because Absolutely. you were saying like you know so much is going into intelligence, uh, security, digital, Absolutely. digital concerns. Cyber security is big. Exactly. And uh, so we've included in this year's theme just to kind of open the focus up a little bit more. Uh, offer up a little bit more different scale for different things in the region because you're right cyber security is a big issue these days hacking is certainly a big issue everybody's uh, definitely involved in that in some way or shape or form but uh, the theme itself brings a lot to the Pacific in that Guam is affected by it directly and uh, uh, my company uh, on another side is is we are we are focused on a lot of the things in the federal space uh, both in the maintenance and operation perspective, but we know what that means. And certainly we are directly involved because a lot of our contracts are, are with the military, mm -hmm. but also with the government, the local government and the private sector. Mm -hmm. So uh, the th this year's theme is certainly not just geared around the military and the buildup specifically, but is geared around what's about to happen in, in the neighborhood, uh, in our communities mm. and around us. Well, what kind of people would be like the target audience for the event? Because, you know, Guam's always had like a lot of sys admins. You right. know, you've got database right. administrators. Sure. There's, there's a few of us here who code, things like that. You know, people working in directly in information technology yes. fields. But then there's also like a lot of managerial types and there's a lot of people like entrepreneurs who want to actually create companies based on the need to combat cyber terrorism, cyber security, right. things like that. Well, there are companies that are coming this year, uh, Panduit, as you may know, with some of the cabling companies involved. Uh, there are some other companies. We've had uh, several companies in the past, Dell, Cisco, those companies, a high tech rep from Hawaii is coming out, GDSU from Hawaii is coming out. It is hard to get people to come this way, as you may know, because of our strategic location, right? And I say that only because we are beyond the international date line if mm -hmm. you're coming from the west, western side of the country. But the, the, the this year's theme not only just brings the kinds of people that we hope to see, just not for the military, but the community. We're also offering a little different flavor this year. Last year, we started training and facilitating training. So we're doing that again this year. We're offering up some training in the electronics field and the IT field so that some of these guys can get credits for some of the stuff that they're doing towards their certification or recertification. Very cool. Yeah, and as you may know, we offer up scholarships for STEM, mm -hmm. and that's our biggest goal in FCA. So this year, we were fortunate enough because in years past, we've always taken money out of the coffer to, to give this money away. Well, this year, some of the local businesses and other businesses outside our, our island have contributed monies toward giving away the STEM. So we're not really taken out of the pocket. Here's how that plays out for us. Uh, if we can give five to $8,000 this year in STEM, and these are for the teachers in the middle school, high school, and, and elementary school that come up with an essay that we, we grade as, as officers that kind of determine if one, uh, they successfully achieved the questions and, and the answer, and they've answered successfully, and how they would like to utilize the money that we're going to give them, then we'll give them that money. We will award them on the last day of TechNet. Uh, then what we've also done is we're, we're opening up a science exhibit, not a fair, but an exhibit. So there are going to be several schools involved this year that are going to come and showcase their technology. Robotics from Simon Sanchez is going to be with us this mm -hmm. year. Uh, JFK is off to compete. Uh, this year, so they'll be coming back the last day and hopefully joining us on the last day. And the Santa Barbara and uh, Notre Dame High School also have a robotics yes. program. Yes, and so uh, we've offered it out to the to the public schools and the private sector to to kind of bring them in and kind of offer up something else for the community. It's not just about Armed Forces Communications Electronics Association. It's about the community. Outstanding. And so we we're taking that approach this year, and the theme kind of leans toward 
what is happening in the region rather than just it's an IT communications thing. And so we wanted to focus on that a little bit and we're offering that to the community and offering other small businesses. And as in years past, I've always said to the small business guys out there, guys, come and join us. You know, bring your one-liner, you know, because the buildup is coming. You know, and I say that all the time. I've been saying that for years, but I'm in the business now where I, I'm actually facilitating work for the government. So I know that the buildup is here. And, and as you can see around us, there's a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't been out to the back road going up to Anderson or out to the road going past uh, NCTS and NCS Guam, there's a new gate up there. There's a reason for that new gate. There's mm -hmm. something going on up there, and people need to know that. All right, well, real quick, how can people register for the conference? If you go online to HTTP, marianas.fcachapters.org, and you can register there. And All everything right. that you need to know about the, the events, the schedule, uh, what's to happen will be there. I've got a strategic partner coming out that's going to actually do this thing on a mobile app. So if you come up for registration and you're on there, you actually can download either on your Android or your iPhone, and you'll have the calendar of events day by day on an app on your either your phone, your iPhone, or your Android. Well done. Yep. Absolutely. All right, Chuck. Well, best of luck with the conference, and I'll Thank see you, you. there. Good. All Looking right. forward to it. Man, Thanks for having us, Jason. I really appreciate it. All right, everybody, please stay tuned because good things are coming up, and we have much more show right after this.